And now taking a look at some news from the Piedmont Triad area of North Carolina, a man from High Point was sentenced to 13 months in federal prison and three years of supervised release on two counts of computer fraud and abuse and one count of wire fraud. Now, the sentence was handed down on Monday, March the 13th, according to the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Eastern District of North Carolina. On October the 6th of 2022, Patrick Marquez Black pled guilty to the charges. According to court documents and other information presented in court, Black, who is 30 years old, hacked into the Snapchat account of a female soldier stationed at Fort Bragg, North Carolina, then changed the password to lock the victim out of her account. Once he gained access, Black used the account in three different ways. First, he pretended to be the victim and requested her Snapchat friends send money to Cash App and other online money accounts to cover the cost of a fake emergency. Secondly, he shared and sold nude images and videos of the victim that he was able to access from that Snapchat account. And third, he used her account to obtain the username and password of other Snapchat accounts, as well as nude images and videos from other victims. The activity occurred over a period of at least three years. According to the U.S. Attorney's Office, due to the actions of Patrick Black, nude images and videos of the victim were seen by co-workers, friends, and family members. The victim was threatened by people who believed that they had loaned her money and she had not paid them back. She paid over $300 to her friends as repayment for the money that Black stole. U.S. Attorney Michael Easley was quoted in the news release as saying that they are targeting, uh, rather targeting hackers and cyber criminals who invade privacy for cash. He said this defendant, meaning Patrick Black, hacked the Snapchat of an active duty soldier, used her account to steal from her friends, sold her photos for cash, and then violated her privacy. Isley said their seminal, uh, or rather cyber prosecutors are partnering with law enforcement to ensure that the World Wide Web does not become the wild, wild west. The Criminal Investigations Division of the United States Army investigated this case.